Good morning, welcome to my show. All right, let's try to do this one more time. Try and make this the final one. Um, you're looking at a strange picture of um, darkened tribes um, that says that they come from Ireland, okay? There's, there's much manipulation when it comes to the tribes that come out of history. People really don't know um, anything. So, you know, they don't know their bloodline, they don't know their DNA. Um, and so what we have here um, in this, I got this from Camiro, Camiri, I think his name is. He has the best um, channel on YouTube when it comes to the archives of understanding where we come from. It's such a dark, um, demonic manipulation um, over many generations, you know, of um, trying to get to the West, get to the into the mama's belly, getting back into heaven, um, killing all the tribes, killing the bloodline, DNA, and having these demonic ones come into um, this reality. Um, you know, and that's what this, all this is. And so the brainwashing of the people today, they don't really know. They just hear of the tribe of Judah and they hear the stories. They look at um, reggae and Bob Marley and, you know, all that type of lifestyle of what what once was and uh, what is not anymore. And it really comes down to, uh, the, you know, the manipulation of society today, um, taking the righteous truth of the darkened tribes and um, turning them into gangster rappers and manipulating all this stuff, you know, the music, because if they would have followed the music of what was righteous, they wouldn't, it wouldn't be the way that it is today. So if you look at Philadelphia and you look at Babylon, Philadelphia is Babylon and um, it's a copy. It was built by the occult, by the Illuminati, um, because in reality, Pennsylvania um, is the land of Judah. Pennsylvania is the land of Judah. If you've never been out to the middle of Pennsylvania, you can see the open lands where the lions would roam because the, the, the tree of life is on the mound. The tree of life is, um, you know, the Great Lakes, the Serpent Mound, the Mississippi, you got the mounds running all down down there. And then, you know, like the East Coast, um, this, this, this stuff, um, you know, you have Philadelphia is um, Delphi. It's been um, Philadelphia and Delaware being Delphi and the Mason-Dixon line being an invisible line. Um, of, of a, I put it this way, this is the Mason-Dixon line is the line that they needed to get across because in reality, spiritually they need to travel the 40th parallel they need to travel the line from philadelphia to um the bay because they have to get through the golden gate through the west but you know this combination of colors of black and gold um is a very high vibration when you speak of the colors because um it is what it is, you know, not going to get all into that, but the migration of the people into America, the world came to Pennsylvania a long time ago. And, um, because you had the, um, the Hopi, you know, trying to put us all together, crisscrossing, you had the Hopi, um, thing come the Hopi, um, Kachina, which took out the Chinese food, came across, the Hopi people landed in the Great Lakes and everything like that, um, or went across the Great Lakes, probably into Greenland or something, okay? So at that point, um, those would be considered, you know, there's that. Then you had the Spaniards and, and, and come, you know, from, from the East, which wiped out the whole East Coast, the Aztecs and the Mayans. Um, you know, and all that. So you look at the battles and everything that took place and the destruction of the Aztecs, a whole civilization being wiped out, all the mounds and everything. You know, you have the manipulation of the Christianity. Uh, you had the Amish coming over who were actually demonic and brought the, the, the Luciferian shit into Pennsylvania and um, 
you know, through all this shit with Philadelphia and all this stuff, you know, dark magic, because in reality, they were following the ley lines. Everyone, you know, if you know, they were following the ley lines, and but everybody was meeting in a specific, you know, kind of like in a specific area between the Spaniards coming from, you know, the southeast. This is the thing when it comes to the southeast on the zodiac wheel. When you talk about the circle and you talk about the trinity, the trinity, the triangle within the wheel with their Illuminati pyramid is all bullshit. It's all a hijacking of all the stuff that was once created from Father um, Father Sky. So, you know, it's the Merkaba and everything. And this is all the temples and mastering your own light ship, light body ship. And so all this Illuminati shit is just, it's crap. Um, you know, so all the stuff has been taken back. All the circles, the squares, and the lines. Um, the the, the um, zodiac has been taken back. The DNA, the bloodlines. All of this stuff has been taken back. The mama's belly has been taken back. So it, it go moving forward into creation. No more demons are being born into this reality. You know, this demonic, all this past life shit, all this stuff that has um, been created out of the fall of confusion and manipulation in this time period ever since Egypt is going away. We're returning back into the tree and the tree is in Maruka on the back of Turtle Island. There's a porthole, there's, there's, um, you know, everyone looks across the pond at the stuff. They look across the pond. They can't look what's underneath their feet unless people are knowledgeable enough to understand what has been taken away from them underneath their feet and not just look across the pond at stuff. Um, and so you have this whole thing with Pennsylvania and you have outside, so I'm going to get into a little bit of this Scotland and this Columbinati, what came out of Scotland, what came out of Ireland, because you have certain aisles everyone talks about crests everyone talks about names and they talk about this royal bullshit and whatever demonic shit that was birthed out of transylvania and whatever these people demonic bloodline and stuff and so there's a flip side of you know and all these fairy tales and the, the mystical stuff that comes out of the wheel of creation it comes out of the fairy world, the dragons, the unicorns, all the lions, the lions, the camels, the, you know, the cheetah, all the stuff that, this is the wheel, the zodiac wheel, you know, and you can even take it into the Asian times and whatever animals, you know, the monkey, the blue monkey of India, you know, so there's all kinds of good stuff. It's just understanding the dimensions and the colors and everything the vibration and so returning the people uh, let me get back to scotland ireland the isle of harris the isle of man there are certain isles out there portholes that are all connected to a, a maruka because when there was one island when america when the turtle came up out of the water there was only one piece of land and all tribes were on this piece of land. There was no other land outside of here. You had your parents. It was kind of like Atlantis being the parents and Lemuria being the children. Two did, you know, being the sun and the moon, but everything was aligned because the rainbow serpent is on, on a, a Maruka. You know everything is within and without, and so you have the zodiac being stomped, being stamped on the back of Turtle Island through all the mounds. This is your zodiac in the tree. This is your zodiac, and if you know your symbolism, you know going to get into it. The the Mississippi, it's the bull, it's the it's the Taurus, it's the bull. And north of the 40th parallel being the ecliptic line, we're being, you know, the north, the Nordic, where, where Odin is. You, you know what I mean? And there's a whole, that's a whole other story. But when you talk of the tree and you talk of Rasa and the colors, you're talking...
So you're talking, I don't know, see if that, I'm trying to figure this out, doing it on my phone. And so you have this image and everything, and we're returning, like I said, returning the tribes to um, the wheel. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you another picture, okay? Um, all right, so we're going Scotland, Ireland, um, and everything like that. Here's some symbolism. The closest color to green, the closest color to black is green. Why? If you look at a spiritual animal and you look at the um, silverback gorilla, the silverback gorilla is the eyes in the sky. They climb to the top of the trees. They eat the leaves at the top of the trees. And if you have a silverback, a silverback carries the moon on its back. Gentle giant that climbs a tree. See, and that, and so in that symbolism there doesn't fall into the Americans' spiritual animals, or even falls into the First Nation spiritual animals. You know, the people today are manipulated. You know, they don't. They can't cross-reference different timelines. And so when you look at the Sun Cross and you look at the world's tribes, and if they speak different languages, if they speak different languages, but they come together under the, the, the same sun, the rainbow sun, the rainbow tribes, that's the unity. That's the circle that goes around the cross that the white devil did not bring to a Maruka. That's what the Hopi knew. The Hopi knew. The tribes knew. The tribes knew. Because they knew what happened in Egypt. They knew what happened to Atlantis. They knew what happened to Lemuria. It's just when after that happened, everyone started migrating to the west because the doorway was to the west. And to, back into Lemuria. But they have to get into the tree. The west starts in the east. See, that's the thing. The west is, the west is in the east. How far do you got to travel from the east coast ocean to actually get to the west? They call it the Midwest, but that's what you're told. What piece of land is new? What piece of land is old? So returning this stuff. So here I'm going to get into this um, the Swazi. Okay. So I saw this picture moons ago by following this guy, and this dude is on his game. Okay. So Pennsylvania being the tribe of Judah, the land of Judah. Inter, you know, coming together with the tribe of Dan and the tribe of Levi. The trinity within the circle, you know, let's see the tribe of Judah, but anyway. Where are we at? The blue stone, the blue stone that was brought down is the wall, okay? It goes along from like up Vermont and down into like Kentucky or something. You know, the Appalachian Mountains, the blue stone, the blue people, the blue grass. Um, let me get on to this um, Nazi stuff. Um, the, the, the symbolism, the, the, the triangle, the triangle. So you got the sun cross, you have the um, sun cross. So but you look at this, this is like this, okay? If you look at all Buddha stuff and you look at the cube and the spinning wheel um, and all this good stuff, um, that's all in like Buddha traditions. They don't want you to know that every tribe has a, a Swazi, okay? I received the symbol the other day, um, this, okay? This is interlinking 
the arms of the people. So if you look at the how people, how they marched during, you know, World War II with the bending of the arm and keeping their legs straight, they are act they were marching like they were inside of the circle. You know, the black sun and all this stuff. They want to be inside, so they march, just like when people would kneel and they raise their hand to their lizard god. Okay, to their demonic god. They want to break out of the circle. But in reality, this the circle is squared. The black sun. The spiraling of the two wheels, Ezekiel's wheels that he saw in heaven. You have the four, you have the eight, and you have the Swazis. This goes farther, but I'm going to go back into this one here where, hold on, let me check some stuff. So I'm going to go back into this one here of the linking of the arms. The one... Between the three and the six is the one, 316. But that also falls into the 3 a.m. and the 6 a.m. on the zodiac wheel because it's the darkest period. So when you talk of being born out of the zodiac wheel, being born out of the darkness, being born in the darkness, you're born underneath, let's say, in the darkness. So if you're born under the tree, the only thing you have under there is gold. Because the roots are gold. Are they not? So if the darkness of the tree, so if the roots are gold, the tree is dark, and the leaves being green, Gold, black, and green. And then the blood being red. What? What? There's your colors. So with the arm, this square is linked within the within the four cornered squared circle. In the in the Mystical stuff, you know, like the circle, square, triangle, you know, this whole thing. It's within connecting arms. All tribes connect arms. The two wheels. See, there's a front and there's a back. The front has four. The back, you know, you know, the, if you break it down, the front has eight and the back has eight. It's sixteen. Which is seven. You know, you can go on and on. So, what else we got here? Atlantis will not rise. This darkness, this stuff, this is going to be taken out because the seraphim are ready. It's time. It's that time. So, we're going to get back to the Scotland thing, because this whole thing with the darkened tribes coming through Scotland, you know, Judah going through Ireland, Scotland, and they say, and coming down, blah, 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 and King Arthur coming to America, and, you know, all intertwining, all this stuff, it's, there's a reason why it's called Harrisburg, because there's an Isle of Harris, where the, you know, and, and stuff like this, and, you know, it goes on and on. Um, I guess we'll cut this short. You know, but this is all the East Coast. This is the Aztec. This tribe Judah. This is the gold. The gold on the East Coast. The roots are gold. The tree is dark. And the leaves are green. It's a beautiful thing. That's coming. Have a good day.